The Transform Layer tool is used to translate, scale, or rotate everything in a selected layer or layers. Changes that you make on any frame other than frame 0 will be animated. Select one or more layers in the Layers palette. If more than one layer is selected, the primary layer is indicated by a darker blue highlight. When you switch to the Transform Layers tool, you'll see two red bounding boxes appear around the primary layer. Any changes that you make to the primary layer will also be applied to the secondary layers. To translate or move the selected layers, click inside the inner rectangle and move your selection to a new position. If you press the Shift key while you move the selection, it will constrain the movement to a straight, horizontal, or vertical line. Press the Alt key and drag your mouse to move the layer on the Z or Depth axis. The Position, X, Y, and Z fields also allow you to enter numerical values for the amount that you want to translate the layers. To rotate the selection with the Transform Layer tool, click in the area between the two red rectangles and drag up, down, left, or right. You can also enter a positive or negative number in the Angle field to rotate the selection. Negative numbers rotate clockwise, and positive values rotate counterclockwise. Press the Reset button to revert to the Frame Zero rotation settings. To scale the selection with the Transform Layer tool, drag from one of the corner handles to scale the selection uniformly. To scale the selection horizontally, drag from one of the side handles. To scale the selection vertically, drag from the top or bottom handle. Press the Alt key while you scale the object to maintain its volume. In other words, if you increase the width of the selection, the height will decrease. Or, if you increase the height of the selection, its width will decrease. You can also use the Scale X, Y, and Z fields to enter numerical values of scaling. A value of 1 is equal to the original 100% scale. If you make changes on any frame other than 0, you can scrub through the timeline or press play to view the animation.